Hello, this is Dale, and welcome to the second video in my devlog for the Reaction to Fusion game. Uh, just a quick video to show you what I've been up to. Um, I've been working on a, a kind of battle tournament um, system, and uh, it doesn't really do much at the moment, but you can select which arena you want to fight in, and um, you know, choose how many players you want, and it looks like that and the game just runs and uh, it really doesn't do much at the moment but um, you know there's no way of winning or anything but that's what it looks like to play around um, I've also been working on an editor this is what I wanted to show today um, so this allows me to design the levels um, all aspects of the levels like the, the, the dynamics of the reaction diffusion and um, the colors, I can change the individual colors like this. Um, or I can just select a new random palette like that. That's quite nice. Uh, that's not, yeah, something like that. Um, I can also, uh, I have a transform, so I can do some, some kind of like zoom effect or rotations kind of thing, translations. Um, uh, and I can mess with all these parameters. So these parameters will actually affect the dynamics of the underlying reaction diffusion system. Um, and in this little box here, I can intuitively just move these parameters and it will adapt immediately. Um, so I, I really have a lot of control over what the levels look like, so I can really make um, quite a wide variety of um, interesting effects, interesting behaviours, interesting uh, kind of, well, I won't say geometry because it's not really geometry, but we can make, um, you know, spots and stripes and waves and, um, you know, spirals and that kind of stuff. Um, also, this system has um, its two chemicals, which I can show you here, red and green, they're interacting with each other based on these weird, you know, equations. Um, and I also have a kind of substrate which affects um, the parameters. So when you see black in the substrate, it means it will take parameters from this area of parameter space. And where there's white, you see white, and where there's shades of grey, then it will follow this curve uh, through parameter space. So I have quite a lot of um, like flexibility, a lot of uh, good control on how, how I want the system to behave. Um, let's see, for example, I could make uh, half the screen white and half the screen black, like that, with maybe uh, transition there and you can see that um, yeah depending on what's in the substrate then um, that's how the behavior behavior of the system will play out uh, so I can get quite varied uh, level designs from that uh, that kind of thing I don't know what's going on there yeah, anyway, so um, like I say, I've got a lot of controls to play with. Um, these reaction diffusion systems are capable of quite a wide variety of patterns and behaviors, so there's a lot for me to play around with. Um, so I can hopefully generate lots and lots and lots of very unique, very striking um, levels to play in. So that's my plan. Um, so I'm very happy with how it's going. Uh, And um, no, oh, what's going on there? Uh, yeah, I'm planning on um, improving the game uh, from now. I want to get the better graphics for the ships, so I think I'll work on that this week. Um, but I'm happy with this uh, level editor. It's pretty much finished for what I need. Um, it's it's something that's quite fun to play with. So um, it did occur to me that maybe people would like to make their own levels. Um, so 
I'm thinking of maybe including this level editor in the actual game itself. But the problem with that is it would be a lot of work. I would have to create my, my own um, user interface and, uh, you know, um, really tidy it up and polish it to go in a game. So uh, I'm wondering whether it's actually worth it. So what do you think? Do you, do you think uh, this game should have its own level editor? Would you like to play around with this kind of thing? Make your own levels? Um, if I get some interest in it, then maybe I will include it as a stretch goal for my Kickstarter campaign. Um, that might be a good idea, um, because it, yeah, like I say, it's fun to play around with, um, explore different, um, reaction diffusion systems and, uh, see what you get. So anyway, that's that. Uh, tell me what you think. Um, tell me what you'd like me to include in the game. I, um, you know, I'm kind of open to discussion about, uh, what people want from, from this. Um, and uh, that's ba basically it for this video, so I will see you in the next video. So thanks for listening.